Game of Thrones Season 8, Why is Jaime Lannister teaming up with Davos Seaworth? Season 8 of Game of Thrones will be bringing the epic A Song of Ice and Fire saga to a close with allegiances formed between the most unlikely characters. One of the most stranger partnerships will be Jaime Lannister, played by Nicolaj Coster Wald and Davos Seaworth, Liam Cunningham. In a recent interview, Danish actor Coster Wald said, I really liked working with Liam Cunningham, who plays Davos Seaworth. We work together and now we get along very well. He added to radio, I will not go into depth because I would be giving away spoilers. Prior to season 8, the two characters were only seen in the Dragon Pit scene together in the HBO drama, which featured a whopping 17 characters, but they didn't have any dialogue. When will Game of Thrones season 8 be released? However, season 8 will see the two characters finally interacting together in what looks likely to be a powerful partnership. Season 7 of Game of Thrones saw Jaime turning his back on his sister and lover Cersei Lannister, Lena Headey, after she refused to join the fight in the North against the White Walkers. Jaime was seen riding north to help Jon Snow, Kit Harington, and Daenerys Targaryen, Amelia Clark, to battle the Night King, Vladimir Ferdick. It's likely that both Davos and Jaime will be a key part of Jon's battle strategy against the Army of the Dead. Davos has often offered wise counsel, while Jaime is adept when it comes to swords. Will Game of Thrones Season 8 be released earlier? One Reddit user previously suggested, I think he will destroy the Night King and his famous King's Lair title will spin a different meaning. Perhaps Jaime may be the only one who can defeat the Night King? Some theories have suggested that he could be legendary warrior from Westeros e myth as Aura High Reborn. Along with aligning himself to Jon Snow, Jaime is also likely be reunited with Bralyn of Tarth, Gwendolyn Christie, who is equally proficient with sword. Their reunion could lead to a romance following several seasons of simmering chemistry and of course Cersei. Despite Jaime switching sides, there have been a number of theories that the characters will be clashing heavily in the final installment of the HBO fantasy series. One Reddit user called WRK Boots speculated, Jaime's story has always been about redemption. He did the right thing by killing the Mad King, but thanks to the unbendable moral judgment of Ned Stark, Jaime was made out to be a villain despite his heroic act, and spends the next stretch of his life acting like the monster everyone accuses him of being. Therefore, I think it would be fitting if, after everyone takes care of the Night King up north, John. Daenerys, Jaime and everyone else who survives marches on King's Landing to put an end to Cersei's tyranny. Jaime will save thousands by tricking her into letting him in the Red Keep and killing her, much like he did the Mad King, and thereby fulfilling the prophecy that Cersei will be killed by her younger brother. Martin made it a point to mention several times that Jaime was born a minute after Cersei. Plot details are understandably being kept under wraps but it looks like Jaime will continue his redemptive story arc in Season 8. Game of Thrones Season 8 will return in 2019.